All right, here we are, 9937 Chatham. This house is a three two, three bedroom, two bath, about 1100 square foot brick bungalow, as you can see. You get $1,350, y'all. That's why Detroit is one of the most popular cash flow markets for investors local to Detroit, but also out of state. And this particular property has just been renovated. It's ready to rock and roll. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. If you are looking for turnkey properties in the most profitable states in the U.S. of A, you need to be here today. Specifically, we're talking about Detroit, y'all. Detroit. One of the best rental property markets for cash flow out there. Check this one out, guys. 9937 Chatham, Detroit, Michigan, coming to you at $120,000. Now, this particular property is set it and forget it, okay? You have, for $120,000, the opportunity to buy yourself not $1,000 a month, not $1,100 a month, not $1,200 a month, the 1% rule. No, you get 1350 y'all. That's why Detroit is one of the most popular cash flow markets for investors local to Detroit, but also out of state, right? We get a ton of people from California, a lot of people from that liberal hellhole, Portland, Oregon, a lot of New Yorkers coming to places, coming out to the Midwest for a lot of these markets, Detroit being one of the most popular ones, right? So $1,350. And this particular property has just been renovated. It's ready to rock and roll. Now, the company that is selling it is a company I work with regularly on all of my Detroit deals, right? My guy, Drew, he owns this company, Logical Property Management. They are going to be able to handle everything you guys need. So if you're interested in this property or if you're interested in getting some more information on this property or just, you know, your portfolio in Detroit in general, you got to hit up Drew, you got to hit up uh, Logical Property Management. They are going to be you guys' point of contact for this, right? Me personally, I think it's a gnarly deal. Somebody should take it down. The only reason it's been left vacant, guys, is to make it easy for you to do your due diligence, right? To get in there, either yourself or if you're out of state, to get in there with your own inspector, your own bank appraiser, right? With a tenant in place, y'all know that can make things a little difficult, right? So uh, Drew's leaving it empty, so you guys have a very easy way to do your due diligence because he's all about transparency, right? And so for a lot of you guys out there who've been buying in Detroit over the last couple years because everybody and their brother's pitching y'all on Detroit, if you're running into issues with your portfolios or your portfolios are all distressed or you know maybe you thought you are buying one thing and you got another and now you got a situation where your PM is not being very helpful and you're just losing your ass and you need somebody to come in be your boots on the ground rescue you just hit up my guys just hit up drew him and his team they'll assess your situation and tell you what you need to do right because transparency is the name of the game when you're working with them that's why i chose to work with them when i started operating detroit so what i need you guys to do is hit them up you've probably seen their contact info on the screen if not i'm going to put it in the show notes below if you want cash flow in detroit or other solid markets we're all over baby we're all over ohio cleveland columbus cincinnati Baltimore, Memphis, Kansas City, Indy. If you guys are looking for that cash flow real estate, we specialize in working with out-of-state investors, right? If you guys want to get out of those fucking crazy West Coast cities and get into some low-cost affordable housing, make sure you guys are subscribing to Holton Weiss TV. Let's go. All right, here we are, 9937 Chatham. This house is a three two, three bedroom, two bath, about 1,100 square foot brick bungalow as you can see it's in the um outer drive area neighborhood actually west outer drive if you look here the neighborhood it's all brick all doing well uh everything's kept up they're actually doing uh some renovation down there you see a dumpster so this neighborhood is solid it's not far from telegraph telegraph's a couple blocks over and uh, that's one of the major thoroughfares in the city of detroit and uh, so this has got a prominent location. It's not far from a park. So let's go take a look at what we got on the outside. So it's got all new windows, the new screen door there. 
Uh, you can see the permit there. We pulled a permit actually for the windows on this one. New downspout extension here. This is the side. You can see the new windows. No other major problems. We did a little bit of landscaping cleanup because it had been uh, ignored for a while. Did some uh, concrete repairs and patching right in here so that everything good looks good. Um, so this was new. Back here we had to actually demo the garage. It wasn't worth fixing, but we put in this fence here so that it is a fenced in yard. And uh, again, more dirt here. We actually leveled it up because it was all sinking, causing some water flow into the basement. And we did some things right here at the same so that it's all addressed now and it's been dry. It's rained a few times. So again, new windows, all screens, everything. Let's go inside, take a look at it. This house, by the way, is rent ready, ready to go. And uh, you know, it's worth about, about $120,000. And it's gonna rent for about $1,350. Uh, especially with spring summertime right now that we're getting into it's got a nice original tile thing that we saved right here granite um, uh, actually marble and uh, so we kept that the hardwood floors were a bit messed up they somebody had glued stuff on them but we scraped it all up refinished them sand them as best we could we know they don't look perfect but hardwood lasts a long time with tenants and uh, that's what we prefer all the lighting has been switched to LED um, We've got door jam reinforcement stuff right here and on the door itself, so anti-kicking. Um, you know, these things are screwed actually into the two by fours, so it's very hard for people to kick in these doors. So that's just an extra security measure for tenants and everybody. This is the dining room, again, LED, nothing fancy, but we do have, again, the new windows, marble sills. Those are original, we were able to save them. We took all the vents off, had them sandblasted and repainted because um, you can't match these. So they're original, but they've been redone. Brand new kitchen, everything is brand new in here. New lights, LED again, all the new cabinets. These are all brand new. Uh, these are, you know, full wood. These are not cheap, these are craft made. So um, they're really nice. Drawers, we tried to lay it all out. Fridge is gonna go here, negotiable for tenants. We got a microwave built in right there. Put the backsplash, uh, uh, aluminum backsplash there because people spray things, tenants all over the paint and everything and messes it up. So we put aluminum on the back, helps out a little bit. Set up for a gas stove. Um, over here we've actually even put um, vinyl down so it'll protect the wood because uh, tenants often will um, hit something here and cause a leak. Nothing leaks now, but when they throw stuff underneath here, they'll jar it and then it starts leaking. They don't tell you until it's too late and the, the bottom's rotted out. So we put this down as a protectant. Over here, they have a trash can area. We have to do this um, to make this match. Um, actually, the old countertop was hand built for that. This is, again, granite. So that's a good area for garbage, basically, uh, in our opinion. So going down here, we've got steps, everything's uh, tiled. New screen doors, again, door jam reinforcement here and here. Coming down here, we did redid the steps. Full nose and everything on those. So, got uh, smoke detectors everywhere. We redid this flooring. This was nice, uh, we finished it down here in the basement. This is anti-slip, like you put in a garage, drop ceiling. So this is like a play area. And by the way, there's the required smoke detector. And uh, in here is an office area. There's no closet. Somebody could add a closet if they really wanted to make a bedroom. But again, we don't recommend that because tenants, it's not allowed unless you have an egress window. You'd have to dig that out. Um, this was some stuff the previous tenants left behind. We figured it was useful. So there's a TV mount. You know? So again, it's a built-in office down there or whatever if somebody wants to make it. Uh, here's another three-quarters bath technically, but we call it two baths. Um, it's got a sink, toilet, even got a vent, and here's the shower. There's no tub, but there is a shower. So, coming over here, there's a storage room. It's a water meter, gas meter here. And then uh, this area is just all utilities. Um, brand new laundry tub set up for washer dryer. Dryer's gonna go there, wash machine over here. Um, hot water tanks installed upon sale. 
And this is an old furnace. We decided to keep the furnace because no one's going to steal it, which happens now and then in uh, urban areas. But this is functional. It's probably an 80 percenter and it's bulletproof, more or less. It's uh, an oldie but a goodie. They don't make them like this anymore. So, but again, the whole floor has been done everywhere in this property. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, give us a call right away. We think this is going to go pretty quick. If it doesn't get sold within 30 days, we're going to put it in a multiple listing service, have an agent, one of our agents listed for sale, because I'm pretty sure a homeowner is going to want to buy this to move in. Um, again, this is 9937 Chatham, signing off. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.